In this video, we're going to talk about isotopes, specifically what we call radioactive isotopes and radiation that they emit. So remember, an isotope, isotopes have the same number of protons each, as each other, but they have different numbers of neutrons. They, they have, they're the same element, but they have a different mass. And it ends up that the ratio of protons to neutrons can cause the, the nucleus of some isotopes to be unstable, or in other words, to be radioactive. Now, when a nucleus is unstable, it's going to do one of two things. It's either going to give off some what we call radiation in order to become more stable, or it's going to absorb something to become more stable. But it's going to do whatever it can to adjust this ratio of protons to neutrons so that it gets into a, this range of stability. So it has a, a ratio that's stable. Now, most of the isotopes up through um, of the elements up through potassium are stable, more or less. Most of the elements from calcium on through the rest of the periodic table have at least one unstable isotope. It, it's, it, it's due again to this ratio of protons to neutrons. So an unstable isotope generally decays and when it does it emits radiation and as it does that, it's converted into a different isotope, one that's more stable than it was before it decayed. And the types of radiation we're going to look at that we'll see in this course are called um, alpha particles, that's a type of radiation, beta particles, this is supposed to be Greek beta, by the way, and that's supposed to be an alpha, uh, positrons, um, that's supposed to be a beta, again, with a plus sign, gamma rays, that's supposed to be a gamma, and neutrons, that's an N. So, starting with alpha particles. An alpha particle is a helium-4 nucleus. Remember, helium-4 means that it's one of the isotopes of helium. The 4 means there are, there are, there are 4 um, protons and neutrons. Because it's helium, there are 2 protons, so that means there are 2 neutrons. Now, this is without the electrons. This is just the nucleus. And the symbol for an alpha particle is either like helium with a 4 and a 2, or it's an alpha with a 4 and a 2, either one, you'll see both. And alpha particles can be absorbed, um, alpha capture, or emitted, alpha emission, that's what we call that. Beta particles are identical to electrons. The distinction is that if a beta particle is produced through the decay of a radioactive isotope, um, we call that a beta particle. If it's in the nucleus and it, if, excuse me, if it's in the atom and it's captured, we call it an electron. But it's there's no difference. You can't tell the difference between a beta particle and an electron. They're identical. So a beta particle. Okay, the symbol that we're going to use is either 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 an e zero and a negative one to the left, or a beta zero and negative one. And beta particles can be emitted. That's called beta emission and absorbed or captured, and we call that electron capture when that happens. So the nucleus can either give off a beta particle or it can absorb an electron. Positrons are the antimatter particles of, of electrons. So we call this, um, well we give the symbol E with a zero and a plus one instead of the negative one for the beta particles, or a beta with a zero and a plus one. And the only thing we'll see positrons doing in here is being emitted, positron emission. When in a, by the way, when a positron and electron come together, they annihilate each other and, make, and re release a lot of energy in the form of what we call gamma rays. Gamma rays, another type of ra radiation that we'll see, the symbol is a gamma, zero, zero. And we're going to see only gamma emission here. And the gamma, gamma rays are, are different than the, the types of radiation we've seen up to this point. Everything up to this point has been a particle that's emitted or absorbed. Gamma rays are, well, they're electromagnetic radiation, and, and that gets a little shady as to what they, exactly they are. But it's what electromagnetic radiation is, it's basically light. It's like x-rays are electromagnetic radiation, uh, radio waves are, microwaves are, and visible light. That, and, and there's other forms too. But, and one of those forms are gamma rays. 
and neutrons, just like you know we saw before, um, can be absorbed or emitted. Neutron capture if they're absorbed. Neutron emission is what we call it if they're emitted by the nucleus. And the symbol is an N with a 1 and a 0 to the left. Now, you can think about these numbers that you've seen. And every, every symbol that I've shown you here, there, there's two numbers to the left, the top and the bottom. You can think about the top one as being like a mass number, and the bottom one as being kind of like a charge number. So a neutron has a zero charge and a mass of one. A gamma has zero mass and zero charge, gamma ray. A positron has zero mass and a positive one charge. An electron or a beta particle has a zero, um, zero mass, relatively speaking, and a negative one charge. And a positron, likewise, with a positive one charge, though. Beta is negative one. And an alpha particle has a mass number of four and um, a charge of plus two. Um, you know, you could also interpret these as being the um, number of protons plus neutrons up here and number of, um, not really, we can't see protons down here, but just positive charges is the way to think about it, or just charge really. So make sure you remember the names and symbols for all of these um, types of radiation.